All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to get all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wahakadash Waka. I'd like to say double honors to the elders, apostles, and great millstone, and they rule well. I'd like to say peace and salutation to the whole four elect that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity, all right? I just come with a little another, um, another lesson um, about meditation, man. Meditation upon the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? It's part of the truth, okay? You know what I'm saying? Med med meditate on the things you learned and to meditate on the, also meditate on the things you did, you know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, being in the camp and stuff like that, you know, you know the good deeds, you know. So basically, let's get into it. Um, this first scripture right here is Joshua 1 and 8. It say, the book of the law shall not depart uh, out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. So basically, you got to ponder on the scriptures, man. Ponder on the truth. Okay, what the elders taught, the apostles taught. Okay, supposed to meditate therein day and night, man. Non-stop, man, because... Most of us, you know, most of us, in, most of us in the flesh, and plus, you know, a lot of carnal and uh, wicked things hit our minds. But basically, you got to pond, ponder on the scripture through the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Through the spirit, you how about Shema Shai? All right, they say that thou may observe to do according to all that is written therein. So basically, you got to do, got to do what's right that's written in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? To the best of our ability. Okay, you know, basically examining yourself. All right. It says, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. So the more you meditate, you know what I'm saying, the more you meditate on the scriptures and more to meditate and, and examine yourself and stuff like that, man, the more prosperous and more, more successful you will be in this truth, man. All right? So basically you got to gotta really be, you know, you know, have a discernment. You know what I'm saying about yourself and you work out your own salvation because meditation is basically is part of the truth as well. It's another way you can meditate as well. Um, you can go out and um, sit at the lake like I do, you know what I'm saying, like like on a Sunday, you know what I'm saying, sit at the lake and stuff like that and just, you know, meditate, all right? Meditate and ponder, examine yourself, all right? Think about the acumen, think about the brothers, you know what I'm saying? Just meditate and um and do what's right to the best of your ability, okay? Because we're still in this fucking flesh, all right? Um, let's go to Sirach. All right, this is Sirach. It's Ecclesiasticus. I'm going to go to chapter 6, verse 37. Kind of a little slow. Bear with me. All right, this is um, Sirach, chapter 6, verse 37. Say, let thy mind be upon the audience, audiences of the Most High. And meditate continually in his commandments. Okay. So basically you gotta you gotta you gotta let your mind, you know what I'm saying, meditate continually. That means frequently, you know, you know, and um nonstop, man. Okay. In his commandments, he shall establish thy heart, which is your mind, and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. So basically, you know what I'm saying, med meditation is is basically part of wisdom. The more you meditate, the more you meditate, the more wisdom you have, man, through the spirit. All right. So meditation is very important, man. In the, in the, in the, in in um in, you know what I'm saying? It's truth. Okay. It's very important. Say, let thy mind be upon the audiences of the Most High and meditate continually in His commandments. So you got to think upon the Lord, man. You got to think about think upon Yahweh Shai. You got to think upon you know the Akim. You got to think about the you know you know what I'm saying the um you know Think upon you thinking think you being the elect, the hopeful elect, man. You gotta think about you gotta think upon the brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Think about think upon the truth, period. Alright? You know, keep your mind pure from this world. That's how you meditate, man. And that's how you that's how you get your mind right, you know what I'm saying, of meditation. Alright? It says, 
Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Most High and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart. Goes back to the Hebrew word lob, okay? Which is your mind, say, and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. So the wisdom going to come, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your own, you're going to desire wisdom. You know what I'm saying? By meditation, okay? Um, let's go to the next scripture. Um, I'm still on Ecclesiastes. I'm going to jump down to 39 chapter. All right, this is uh, Sirach 39 and 1. It say, but he, but he that give his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof. All right, so meditation basically is part of the law. All right, you're thinking upon the Lord, you're thinking, of, you're thinking upon, you know, you know, righteous things, man. Not carnal shit, okay? It say, we'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancients. Because all the ancients of the scriptures, okay, like Jeremiah, Amos, Isaiah, all right, um, John, all right, David, uh, Obadiah, okay, um, Moses, and the list goes on, all right, and be occupied in prophecies. So, whatever, whatever, whatever um, prophecies that's coming to pass, man, we got to be occupied. And meditation thereof. Okay. Like martial law. Meditate on that. Um, FEMA camps. What's finna come. You know what I'm saying. Race wars. You know the prophecies that's coming. Um, the RFID chip. Which the, that's prophecies. So. Basically we gotta be occupied in prophecies. That's, that's medit meditate on the, on the real things that's coming man. Okay. So that's part of wisdom. Period. It's a but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof. So the law is basically, you know what I'm saying, meditation, man. That's part of our, that's part of the truth and that's part of our culture. You know what I'm saying? That's part of the um that's, that's part of our belief system, right? It says, We'll seek out the wisdom of all the ancients, man. Okay, history, prophecies, man, um, all the all the different um all the different righteous things that the prophets was mentioning in the scriptures, man. That's the wisdom of all the ancients, man. Okay? They say and be occupied in the prophecies, man. And that's exactly what we um doing, man. The man of the Lord, man, the hopeful elect. Okay? You gotta be occupied in these prophecies, you know what I'm saying, for all of you to uh, strive through this truth, man. Alright. Um I'm going to go to, as a matter of fact, speaking of that, I'm going to go to the um, entomology, man, and break down what really meditation is about, man, all right? This is the entomology for brothers that want to get on the entomology. I advise you brothers to get on the, um, you know what I'm saying, the entomology.com if you want to really know words, man, all right? Meditate. You say to ponder. Okay. Back information for meditation from the Latin meditatius. Meditatus means past part, um, past participle. Okay, to meditate, think over, reflect, consider. Okay, that's part of the truth. You're supposed to think over, reflect on what's what's going on in the truth, man. Okay, what's going on with yourself? Period. Frequent. Frequentative form. All right. Med. Take appropriate measures. I'm gonna press on meditation real quick. Um. Same thing. All right. From the Latin word, meditatium. A think, a thinking over meditation, noun of action from past. Uh, participle stem meditary to meditate think over reflect consider all right meaning discourse on a uh, on a subject meaning act of meditating continuous calm 
thought upon some subject. Any subject, you know what I'm saying, that that come to mind, man, in righteousness, man, you're supposed to meditate upon it. You know what I'm saying? Then also you're supposed to teach. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever the Lord give you in the spirit is from the late 14th century Latin verb. Also had a stronger sense to say plan, devise, practice, rehearse, study. So that's all part of meditation, man. All right. So if your brothers want to look at this, man, just go to the entomology.com and look up over meditation, man. Look for yourself, man. So you know this is this is the uh, this is the most important thing to do in the, in the, in, the, in the truth, in all the camps, all right? All the great millstone camps. And for those that's not made, and for the other that's not great millstone, you know, what I'm saying you gotta look this word up too, meditation, all right? Um, go to the last scripture. And I'm gonna close out, man. Real quick, let's go to uh, First Timothy. Four and fourteen it says, "Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy." Okay. So whatever gift the Lord give you, man, neglect it not, man. All right. With the laying on the hands of the presby the the what does it say presbytery, okay. Presbytery. That's what that's what it's that's what it's uh. That's the pronouncing presbytery. You know what I'm saying? It means the elders, man. All right? You know, the wisdom of the uh, the apostles. All right? Let's look it up. Presbytery. Presbyterian. All right? Presbyterian means the body of elders, the senate council. Okay? The, of elders of anybody. All right? That went off on the Jewish, cause we not we not Jewish, you know what I'm saying? We the real Jews, all right? So they went off on that. But basically, man, you know what I'm saying? You learn from you learn from the elders, man. You learn from the apostle. All right, you say neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by the prophecy, with the laying on the hands of presbytery, all right? And them the elders, the apostles, all right, a great millstone. Because they're the ones that gave us the knowledge and the wisdom, you know what I'm saying? And the meditation through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemao Shai, all right? Verse 15, meditate upon these things, give thyself wally to them, that thy profit may appear to all, okay? You say, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, all right? The doctrine. You know what I'm saying? The true doctrine, okay? It says, continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. So, man, look, the doctrine, the true doctrine will come from Great Millstone, man. All right? All right? It says, take heed unto, unto thyself and unto the doctrine. And what the doctrine that we teach every time on the, on the line? The Al-Fadicha, the race wars, all right? The famine. Okay. The um the ICBM missiles, man. Okay. The the collapse of the uh, money. Okay. Uh, America finna be destroyed. All right. By thermonuclear fire. Okay. That's the doctrine that that um that we teach and also take heed to and also meditate upon. Okay. So you gotta so so. So say that that shall both save thyself. So you gotta so working out your own salvation, man. Saving yourself by teaching the true power, true knowledge of Yahweh Bashima Shai. Okay? From the apostles. A great millstone, period. And them that hear thee, all right? Who is them? The elect. They hear us, man. That's why we that's why that's why that's why that that's why we um you know what I'm saying? Gathering fruit through the spirit, okay? Through the spirit power, Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right? So, um, that's it, man. That's it. You know what I'm saying? With that, man, I like to say um, all praises and glory, honor to Yahweh by Shema Shai, by Hashem Um, See you on the next round, man. Shalom.